What's up, Team Handsome Guy? It's your boy Ryan back with another YouTube video, and welcome. You're looking amazing today. Anyways, let's get right into it. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys seven, yes, seven ways to up your style in 30 seconds or less. Now, before I get into showing you guys all these ways, one of the ways that I'm able to do a lot of these different hacks or tips and things that you're gonna see me doing is this little handy tool right here. And this is actually, um, today's video sponsor is called the Fashion Anchor. Now, these are actually little rubber discs that are make all this possible. They're actually, the main reason is actually reason number one that I'm showing you guys is actually, these are collar stays. Um, they're actually like these little rubber discs that you peel off and they stick down right here over your collar so your collar never moves. And that is actually way number one is to remove bacon collar. Um, you don't wanna have a floppy collar ever. Um, I know sometimes like your collar can just get weird and you can press it with an iron and it still never looks perfect. With the help and addition of these little plastic or rubber dots, you can literally get the perfect collar every single time. And that's regardless of whether you're buttoned all the way up like I am in this video or you are opened up, just kind of relaxed and chill. Either way you go, make sure that your collar stays perfect as best as you can. Now, sometimes you can't get it just right, but you can do your best to make sure it always looks clean, crisp, iron pressed, and it shouldn't take you longer than 30 seconds to apply a fashion anchor and to ensure that you get that perfect call. So the second way you can actually up your style in 30 seconds or less is actually cuffing your shirt sleeves. Now, I know this is kind of weird. Um, I don't do it a lot with my polos, but I do a lot on my t-shirts and a lot definitely on my short sleeve button ups, which uh, like I said, I live in Florida, so we're getting into summer. I'm gonna be wearing a lot of short sleeve button ups. But the cool thing is when, you're, when you roll your sleeves up, they tend to fall all day long. You're always kind of fixing them and messing with them because sometimes you get that like weird like pyramid thing and by cuffing it, it gives you a more streamlined look and makes your biceps look bigger. But the fashion anchor actually comes in really good handy is I like to put it on the inside of the shirt before I put my shirt on and boom, your shirt will not move, your sleeves will not roll down, it will last you all day. Just another way that the fashion anchor makes things like this, these little details, very easy to do. So way number three to up your style in 30 seconds or less is actually to add a third button or an invisible button. You ever buy a shirt and you're like, oh my God, I can't, like if I button the, leave the top two unbuttoned, it's just too much, but if I go to the third, I'm way too Jersey Shore and Guido for my own good. This is where the fashion anchor once again comes in awesome and you can add in an invisible button and you can actually stick it together. Nobody will ever notice, know it's there and you can get the perfect spread on your shirt. So if you wanna show a little deeper, you can. If you wanna go up, you can. Either way you go, no matter how you rock it, put the button wherever you want. The fashion anchor makes it possible because of the rubber backing, the double-sided backing, you can make the perfect looking shirt. Way number four to upper style in 30 seconds less is to inc include an invisible tie bar. Now, I just kind of coined this term, made this up myself, and I actually use this in a pinch with the fashion anchor because I like to keep one in my bag when I travel. Um, I actually forgot my tie bars and I was like, shit, I can't, like, I'm big on wearing tie bars and those little details, but the invisible tie bar ended up working pretty cool. And this actually utilizes two of the fashion anchors. Um, you go ahead and you put, like I'm gonna show you in this video, you put one between the type, the, the skinny blade on the tie and one between the thicker blade. And then you actually place it and just stick it right to your shirt. Boom, your tie will never move. Nobody will know any difference. And you will, it just looks awesome. It's put together. Now this is kind of a cool look in itself. Like I said, I'm big on wearing the tie bar, but if you ever just wanna mess with people, people are like, oh my God, this tie never moves. The fashion anchor is how you can do that. Moving right into way number five to upper style in 30 seconds less. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know where I am very big on cuffing my pants. I tend to do a obnoxious style cuff, which a lot of people um, like to say it's too much. That's cool. But either way, adding a one roll or a double roll is a perfect addition to show off your shoes, show a little ankle, give yourself a little like laid back vibe, but up your style in the process. Now, like I said, um, most people will be cool going with a double roll, which is just one, two, double roll in your pants. If you wanna go a little higher, a little more obnoxious, that's where my triple roll comes in. And this is all kind of depending on the cuff size and the length of your pants. Um, but I would never cuff my pants more than like four times. If you're doing that, then your pants are too long and you should get them hemmed and go from there. Um, I've made countless videos on cuffing my pants um, on my channel. I'll link some in the description box. Um, go with what feels right for you. Either way, show off those shoes and add a little more style in the process. And way number six is actually stylishly lacing your shoes. Now, if you've been following my channel, one of the number one things that I get on all of my videos is, Ryan, how do you lace your shoes like that? How do you do this, how do you do that? Well, I've actually made a video about it, which I'll link in the description, but to give you guys a little tutorial really quick. Okay, like I said, I have a lot of videos. Uh, I made videos about this on my channel before, but I got a shoe here. Basically, all you do is you lace the shoe, you put it on your foot, you lace it all the way up like normal, and then when you get to the top, instead of 
going over and then going where you loop them, you just keep lacing it back through the hole. It's gonna get tight, you're gonna have to jam it in there, but once you do that, it will not move, and you can get the, you can get the short ends to where they just hang, but it still stays tight. Now, like I said, I have a video on this. It's, I'll link it in the description box. It's very thorough, it shows me how I'm doing this. I do this to all of my shoes, whether it be sneakers, whether it be dress shoes. Um, I do it with my boots sometimes. It's just a really great way to stylishly add some cool flair to your shoelace. But not least, way number seven to up your style in 30 seconds or less is to actually just make sure the white soles on all of your shoes are clean. When it comes to shoes, a lot of companies, a lot of shoes, they always have like a, a colored upper with a white sole and that white sole just tends to get really dirty. Like you're seeing me do right now while I'm talking, I like to take a few minutes or you know, a f like every couple days and I like to just clean all of my white soles. Sometimes it takes me just 30 seconds before I walk out the door to rub them down with a magic eraser, dry them off, and they look crisp and clean and white. And these little details, you know, just add to your overall look. They make you more stylish. They just make you look better. Up today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I, I, if you have other hacks that you like to do, I'd love to hear about those in the comments. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and grab yourself a pack. Let it focus of the fashion anchors. These things are super handy. Like I said, I think the first four ways I showed you guys, you don't need to do, um, there's other ways you can do it without the fashion anchor, but this little, one little thing of these is like 15 bucks. It's awesome to have in your arsenal. And I've actually got a discount code and a, you know, for you guys that you can use below, it's gonna knock $5 off. You'll see all that info in the description box where there's a link to get these. I use these all the time. I just showed you guys like four out of the seven ways today to utilize these. There are so many other ways that I come up with on the fly when I just have these. Like I said, I travel with these. They are a lifesaver. You can use these to hold your shirt sleeves up if you're in a pitch. You can use them to fix missing buttons. You can use them to, I mean, you can even do like a tighter tuck on your shirt by using these things. It doesn't matter. They've come off in the wash. You can peel them off. They're, they're perfectly safe. The only thing is you don't dry clean your shirts with these on or they will get all nasty just don't do it i made that mistake once but i've been using these for a long time and i'm super pumped that the fashion anchor reached out and sponsored today's video if you want this go ahead and grab them test them out and i'd love to hear other ways that you're utilizing this ingenious little I don't, it's like a tool it's i don't even know what you call it but they are awesome and you should definitely have these in your arsenal they're like i said they're perfect to keep in your bag when you travel or in your um in your dresser drawer if you need um, something fixed in a pinch, they will cover it. And they come in all kinds of different sizes. They come in a pack of uh, 36, they come in four pack, and they come in a 10 pack, I believe. And it's like 15, 45, or $100, depending on which pack you choose. And like I said, I got a $5 off coupon for you. You can hit that in the description box below. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy these seven tips and utilize those in your day-to-day -day life and be more stylish in the process.